Okay, let's load the firmware for the Tiny GS onto our Helltech version 3 here with the new firmware loader that Tiny GS supply for us and the link will be in the description but it's installer.tinygs.com on the left we just got one of the satellites that we can view but if we go back one you get a whole list anyway so we're just going to click install we've connected a USB cable to our device this is a brand new device ne never been used before so I'm going to plug it in and it's just going to show connecting and hell tech and it's there saying waiting for LoRa data at the bottom you've got the Windows square we're going to right click go device manager and then double click where it says ports and we are on port silicon labs here 29 look 29 your number may be different so next thing we'll do is go across to the upload and go install now we don't have to select our device it finds it for us it does say it's going to install the latest release which is 2403242 but that's just the number of the tiny gs firmware software we'll go install and it's going to be looking here for the actual com and ours is 29 and then we're going to go connect and let it do its thing it says here install tiny gs and i'm going to tell it to erase device and just go next install so it takes a few minutes fast forward and we can have a quick look while it's doing that on the left here at some of the different selections so there's our home page and you can see here all the other stations if I go to the UK and we have set up a station already you do have to go to the telegram and just get your username and password for MQTT but you literally just message the bot and it messages you messages sorry it's a mouthful you will get a reply with your username and password so if we go to my station here it says I'm offline yeah because we're loading up a brand new station and these are receive stations that are in the UK but you can scroll out and as you can see many stations around the world so we're installing well and we'll go down here to packets that we were on that's all the different satellites and these are low earth orbit satellites they're the as uh, TechMind says they're not the big ones uh, apparently these are small ones could be the size of you know of a brick flying around in space and there's information on everyone and the idea is that as they fly over uh, you will get those packets so I'm brand new to this I'm sure you are as well so it says it says installation complete and we're just going to go next and that's it we're, our firmware has now been loaded on the front it gives us this IP address which we will connect to just with our normal Wi-Fi I click my Wi-Fi here and look for that IP address it should actually be called tiny GA let's see if we can find it turn it on and let it do a little search we we'll click up and we'll open our Wi-Fi and we'll click tiny GS and we'll connect okay once we've connected, we can put in that IP address that we're seeing on the screen. You now get to this screen here on the right, and we're talking directly to our device, which is the Helltech version 3. We're going to hit station dashboard a minute because I have set mine up before and it says not connected, okay? But you're seeing that this is pretty much how we, you know, how we know what's happening with our ESP32 board. Uh, whether we're talking to you know whether we're receiving packets modem configuration all that kind of stuff so let's go back one and we'll go to configure parameters and it's here where you start to configure everything so at the top you're going to name it give it a password put in your wi-fi ssid your longitude latitude um, going further down your MQTT username and MQTT password that we use the 
the bot for. There is actually a bot or a robot that gives you this username and password. I use a longitude and latitude or latlong.net to get my location. You just put in your postcode, zip code, and it will give you your latitude, longitude. When you put that info in, let's go back, delete three characters. This is how long it needs to be, and then set your time zone. The bottom section, you don't need to fill that out. And the board type, as it says here, is the Helltech, as you can see version 3. One thing that you will need is the username and password for your MQTT which basically links it to everything and makes it makes it all work. So go to this link here tme slash tinygs. So to get your username and password for your MQTT click the bot as I said type in here slash MQTT see it here slash MQTT hit the little right arrow and you automatically get a username and password to fill out your configuration form and then scroll to the bottom and hit apply. But just notice that within this personal bot and I'll put a uh, link in the description, you can also show the status of your stations, delete one station from the database and generates a login link for the web. So that's worth knowing, isn't it? So the device rebooted, it's given me a different IP address. 192.168.0.113 we're connected back to our normal internet here which is cool like so and I'm showing up on the MQTT system if you look here on the right hand side found my location on the map and when I click it it says M0FXB so I'm online I can now log into my station and you can see the screen there with all the information scrolling across. I know it's not the clearest image, but you'll see that. Hit station dashboard. So that's my IP address at the top. We select station dashboard. It asks us for our username and password. Remember it's admin and then the password you created in the config. Sign in. And hey presto, here we are. So this is the first time I've looked at the dashboard. So it says that I'm connected. It doesn't say there's a frequency error. I have got my external antenna, so I'm hoping to eventually pick up some packets. It's literally been on for two minutes, but let's just go down through what it says here. Name, version, connected, Wi-Fi, ready, noise floor, waiting, listening. So it's listening and waiting for a a LoRa, so sorry, a low orbit satellite to fly over, and when it does, it will receive the packets and it will tell me. So, and I believe, and I don't know this, it then retransmits that data, yeah, back to I don't know MQTT, and then it start, then it will register with everyone else's information. To it will say that I have been receiving packets. I'll just go back to the map. Look at all these other people that are interested in this hobby item. So we'll go to the map and we'll find me. There you go. I'm going to click my name. And this has come up, this dashboard. I like it. It's looking good. I'm new, so I'm learning. But hey, what if I look at that map. So it says last seen a few seconds ago last pocket uh sorry packet never it's got my location that looks right io81 that's correct it's not in test mode look at this what's that all about that's me of course and what we want to know is when's the next satellite going to go over so we could uh, get some packets scroll down may is that a satellite coming over? Do we get a date on that? There is a CRC error. So maybe it didn't decode it correctly. Frequency error. Oh, that was yesterday, but that was the wrong, the wrong device that I had. Yeah, because it was uh, 868 megahertz, but now we've got the correct device. So hopefully, I've actually got both. But you can see there, look at that, you know, doing its little thing. There's my IP, it's got the time. It's a lot clearer in real life. Just this uh, camera is just not 
not very well zoomed in, but look at it the way it shows the world map. So I hope that helps you set this up. It's well worth it. They don't cost much. Amazon are selling these for like Helltech version three for like twenty pounds. If you wait, if you want to wait for a while, you'll get a Helltech version three for fifteen pound. If you want to wait and get it from AliExpress, but I got mine from Amazon. I'll put the link in from where I got it from. There's the one that I got, and I'll put the link in. Brand new in the box with the antenna and the actual connector for an external antenna. So I'm quite pleased with that. On the right hand side here, it's saying connected to MQTT. So you've got like a log here as well. We click here back to the packets here, third one down. We get this window. One station, May the 5th, a few seconds ago, but you know, is it anywhere near me? No, so I'm not sure how we find out which ones are near us. Just looking through. Someone tell me, how do we know when they're, when it's going to come over our head? Is there an app, active satellites, and then you've got all these, all this information. Swarm. Inactive future satellites and balloons. This image gives you some clear information. There's the Helltech we've got, the satellites flying over. Then they connect to the MQTT server. And then look, programmatical API, web API, the telegram, the database, the decoder, OTA update and auto tuning. It's just showing here when you go into the settings, you can uh, you can allow auto tuning, which is probably by default already set, I would guess. So it changes the frequency to make sure it's at the right frequency for the satellite. And as the description says here, the tiny GS is an open network of ground stations distributed around the world to receive and operate LoRa satellites, weather probes, and other flying objects using cheap and versatile module and in this section it lists the different boards that you can use and there's quite a list here so all this link all these links will be in the description the installation instructions etc thanks for watching we've got more to learn on this but i'll just leave it running now i just clicked here stations just here let's see what we get on that and yeah are these the ones that are near me 43 minutes ago or are these the stations that are receiving these packets if i click here so do they show the, the most recent station that received a packet and then broadcast it so if i go m0 fxb here and yeah we've not received anything yet Oh, ah, here's where we can actually see if a satellite's going to pass us, I think. See all these lines? It's cool, isn't it? Look at that. Come on, satellites. Come to Western Supermare. Oh, what's that circle? Is that one there? I'm just... Oh, you can actually click things. And now I don't know how to get out of that. I'll click the little X. Let's go back to... Yeah, so it takes a bit of learning just to get used to navigating around this. So I can see myself there in a little red... <laughs> there you are, that's the next near one. Um, ongoing. So, ongoing. There is a sort of countdown there. What's this bit? So, th is this? Are these the ones that are near me? Five minutes. Dot five. Is that counting down? Oh, here's a countdown here. 0.4.53 but 
Well, I've got my external antenna connected. I'll leave it running for a while. You can see the actual GS there chugging away. I've got my personal dashboard here. And I did see it. there was a, some sort of log that we could look at on the firmware uploader item. And when you here went with the installer, and I'll put a link of all of this in the in my video. But look, when I clicked the install, I don't want to. I don't actually want to install. Um, I'm not, I don't. It did give me a link with a some sort of log. But I'm not going to install now. I don't want to muck things up. But I'll put that link in. I'm just going to copy it and put that link in. So okay, well bye for now. And um, even if you haven't got the four three three megahertz one, you can practice all of this with your eight six eight. And apparently, some satellites do use eight six eight. I saw that in the write up. If you look here about the, the the boards that are, you know, that you can use, look at the top, it says here, Heltec Wi-Fi uh, 433 and 863. So I do think that if you've got the 868, that some satellites have that, just knowing which ones. Um, so, but the, the Heltec version 3 has worked straight away and I've got the T-Beam coming. We'll be checking that one out soon. And you can, by the looks of it, you can have multiple uh, you know stations you just register them all separately with a different username and just remember you've got that bot there to get your MQTT username and password and check out the main site which is tinygs.com and you'll see me there glad to be part of this community thank you very much lots to learn bye for now 73